Chapter 1. The History of Soft Drinks Soft drinks have a long history tracing back to ancient civilizations. The origin of these beverages can be dated back thousands of years. In fact, the concept of tasty, refreshing drinks has been present since the earliest human civilizations. The history of soft drinks can be traced back to ancient Egypt, where people enjoyed beverages made from natural extracts and sweeteners. These early versions of soft drinks were made by mixing water with ingredients like honey, fruit juices, and spices. The Egyptians believed that these drinks had various health benefits and used them as remedies for ailments. Moving forward in history, another civilization that contributed to the development of soft drinks was the ancient Greeks. They were known for their love of food and drink, and they experimented with various combinations of ingredients to create new flavors. The Greeks were particularly fond of mixing wine with water and flavored syrups, creating a beverage similar to today's fruit-flavored soft drinks. During the Middle Ages, Arabs in the Middle East developed a method of combining carbonation and syrup to create fizzy beverages. This discovery revolutionized the soft drink industry and paved the way for the carbonated drinks we know today. The carbonation process involved dissolving carbon dioxide gas into water, which gave the drinks their characteristic fizziness. The concept of soft drinks continued to evolve over the centuries. In the 1700s, Europeans began to experiment with natural flavors and sweeteners. This led to the invention of carbonated water, which became the foundation for modern soft drinks. The first commercial soft drink, soda water, was introduced in the late 18th century, marking a significant milestone in the history of soft drinks. As the Industrial Revolution progressed, soft drinks became more accessible to the general public. Bottling technology made it easier to preserve and distribute these beverages on a larger scale. The invention of the soda fountain in the 19th century further popularized soft drinks as people could enjoy them in soda shops and ice cream parlors. In the early 20th century, the popularity of soft drinks skyrocketed with the introduction of cola drinks. The most famous cola brand, Coca-Cola, was created in 1886 and quickly gained a loyal following. Colas became the symbol of American culture and spread around the world, becoming one of the most popular types of soft drinks in history. Throughout history, soft drinks have continued to evolve, with new flavors and variations constantly being introduced. Today, there is a wide range of soft drink options available, catering to different tastes and preferences. From classic colas to lemon-lime sodas and fruit-flavored drinks, there is something for everyone. The history of soft drinks is a testament to humans' desire for tasty and refreshing beverages. From the ancient civilizations of Egypt and Greece to the modern-day soft drink industry, these beverages have gone through significant changes and innovations. As we continue to enjoy our favorite soft drinks, it's important to appreciate the rich history behind these beloved beverages. Question, what is the origin of soft drinks? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Types of Soft Drinks Chapter 2, Types of Soft Drinks Soft drinks come in a variety of types, each with its own unique taste and appeal. Among the most popular choices are colas, lemon-lime sodas, and fruit-flavored drinks. Let's explore these different options and discover what makes them so beloved by people all over the world. Colas have long been a staple in the soft drink industry. The rich caramel flavor combined with a hint of vanilla creates a distinct taste that many find irresistible. It is the perfect balance of sweetness and fizziness, that keeps cola enthusiasts coming back for more. Whether enjoyed on its own or used as a mixer in various cocktails, colas have become iconic. Lemon-lime sodas offer a refreshing twist to the soft drink world. 
The tangy combination of lemons and limes creates a zesty and thirst-quenching experience. With a perfect blend of citrus flavors, these sodas are often enjoyed as a refreshing beverage on hot summer days. The delightful fizz and the invigorating burst of citrus make lemon-lime sodas a popular choice among those seeking a bright and uplifting drink. For those who prefer a sweeter taste, fruit-flavored drinks are the go-to option. These drinks are available in a wide variety of flavors, ranging from classic choices like orange and grape to more exotic options like pineapple and mango. Fruit-flavored drinks offer a burst of fruity goodness in every sip, satisfying cravings for something sweet and flavorful. Whether enjoyed chilled or over ice, these fruity concoctions are a popular choice for people of all ages. As the soft drink industry continues to evolve, new variations and flavors are constantly being introduced. Mixed fruit combinations, such as berry blends, have gained popularity among those looking for a unique and refreshing experience. Additionally, there are now options for sugar, free or low-calorie versions of popular soft drinks, catering to individuals who are conscious of their sugar intake. Beyond the traditional types of soft drinks, there are also specialty and regional variations that cater to specific tastes and preferences. In some countries, floral or herbal-infused sodas are popular alternatives, offering a distinct twist on the classic soft drink experience. These beverages often appeal to those who enjoy exploring new and unique flavor profiles. Soft drinks have come a long way since their humble beginnings, as natural extracts and sweeteners mixed with water. Today, they offer a diverse range of options that cater to a wide array of tastes and preferences. From the classic and beloved colas to the refreshing lemon-lime sodas and the fruity delights of flavored drinks, there is a soft drink to suit every palate. So next time you reach for a soft drink, Take a moment to appreciate the variety and history behind your chosen beverage. Whether you're sipping on a cola, enjoying the tang of a lemon-lime soda, or indulging in a fruity delight, soft drinks continue to capture our taste buds and quench our thirst in delicious ways. Cheers to the endless possibilities and flavors that the world of soft drinks has to offer. Question, what are some popular types of soft drinks? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3. Carbonation and Fizziness Carbonation is the secret behind the delightful fizziness that makes soft drinks so refreshing. It is the process of adding carbon dioxide, gas, to beverages, creating those satisfying bubbles that tickle our tongues and make us crave another sip. But how does this magical transformation occur, and what role does carbon dioxide play? When a soft drink is carbonated, carbon dioxide is dissolved into the liquid under pressure. This causes the formation of tiny bubbles that remain trapped within the beverage until it is opened. As soon as the drink is poured into a glass or consumed straight from the can or bottle, those bubbles escape, creating a delightful effervescence. The carbon dioxide gas being released from the liquid is what gives the drink its characteristic fizziness. As the bubbles rise to the surface, they burst and release their trapped gas into the air. This is why we hear that satisfying PSSST sound when we open a can of soda or feel the tickling sensation as the bubbles dance on our taste buds. But why is carbonation so appealing to our senses? One reason is that the carbon dioxide gas reacts with the moisture in our mouths, creating carbonic acid. This acid stimulates the nerve endings on our tongue, enhancing our perception of flavors and giving the drink a more vibrant taste. The tingling sensation caused by the carbonic acid also adds an extra element of excitement and enjoyment to the drinking experience. The amount of carbonation in a soft drink can vary, depending on the preferences of the consumer and the brand. Some people prefer a gentle fizz, while others enjoy a more intense burst of bubbles. This is why different soft drink brands have their unique carbonation levels, 
catering to the diverse tastes of consumers worldwide. Carbonation not only enhances the taste and texture of a soft drink, but also affects its longevity. The presence of carbon dioxide gas acts as a natural preservative, preventing the growth of bacteria and preserving the freshness of the beverage. It also enhances the experience of drinking by giving the drink a lively appearance and a satisfying mouthfeel. The process of carbonation has a long history dating back to the 18th century, when chemists and inventors first began experimenting with ways to infuse drinks with carbon dioxide gas. Through trial and error, they discovered that by pressurizing water with carbon dioxide, they could create a bubbly and effervescent beverage. This discovery paved the way for the soft drink industry as we know it today. Over the years, carbonation techniques have evolved, leading to the development of advanced equipment and methods for introducing carbon dioxide into beverages. Today, carbonation is a precise science, with companies meticulously controlling the amount of gas added to their products to ensure consistency and quality. Whether it's the satisfying hiss when cracking open a can, the effervescent bubbles dancing in a glass, or the enhanced flavor and mouthfeel, carbonation and fizziness add an element of excitement to soft drinks that keeps us coming back for more. So, the next time you enjoy a carbonated beverage, take a moment to appreciate the science and craftsmanship behind those delightful bubbles. Cheers to the magical world of carbonation. Question, what gives soft drinks their fizziness? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Sweeteners and Soft Drinks As Lucy continued her exploration into the world of soft drinks, she stumbled upon Chapter 4, Sweeteners and Soft Drinks. Intrigued by the title, she eagerly delved into the chapter, curious to learn more about the role of sweeteners in her favorite fizzy beverages. The chapter began by addressing the primary sweetener used in soft drinks, sugar. Lucy discovered that sugar plays a significant role in enhancing the taste and overall appeal of her beloved sodas. However, she learned that excessive sugar consumption can have detrimental effects on health, prompting the beverage industry to seek alternatives. One such alternative mentioned in the chapter was high fructose corn syrup HFCS. Lucy was surprised to learn that HFCS was widely used as a sweetener in soft drinks. It is derived from corn syrup through a process that converts some of the glucose into fructose, resulting in a higher fructose content. This modification gives HFCS a sweeter taste than regular sugar while also improving its stability in beverages. As Lucy read further, she discovered that not all sweeteners were derived from natural sources. Artificial sweeteners or non-nutritive sweeteners were also commonly used in soft drinks. These sweeteners, such as aspartame and saccharin, provided a sweet taste without adding calories. Lucy was fascinated by their ability to satisfy her sweet tooth while maintaining a lower caloric intake. Lucy was cautious as she read about the potential health concerns surrounding artificial sweeteners. Some studies suggested that excessive consumption of these sweeteners might have adverse effects on metabolism and contribute to weight gain. However, the chapter also highlighted that regulatory bodies had approved their use, considering them safe for consumption within specified limits. As she contemplated the information, Lucy realized that the use of sweeteners in soft drinks had become a balancing act. Beverage manufacturers sought to find the perfect balance between taste, health concerns, and public demand for low-calorie alternatives. Lucy appreciated the industry's efforts to cater to diverse consumer preferences, providing options for both those who craved traditional sugar-sweetened beverages and those who sought sugar-free alternatives. The chapter concluded with a discussion on emerging trends in the use of sweeteners in soft drinks. Lucy learned that there was a growing interest in natural sweeteners such as stevia and monk fruit extract, which offered sweetness with fewer calories. 
This shift reflected the increasing demand for healthier and more natural options among consumers. As Lucy closed the chapter, she couldn't help but admire the complex science and decision-making that went into creating the perfect balance of sweetness in her favorite soft drinks. She now understood that the sweeteners used played a crucial role in satisfying her taste buds while considering her health needs. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Lucy felt empowered to make informed choices about the soft drinks she consumed. She vowed to try different options exploring both traditional and sugar-free varieties, and perhaps even give those made with natural sweeteners a chance. With a sense of excitement, she eagerly moved on to the next chapter, eager to uncover more intriguing secrets about the world of soft drinks. Question, what types of sweeteners are used in soft drinks? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Soft Drinks and Health As Lucy turned the pages to Chapter 5, her curiosity grew. This chapter, titled Soft Drinks and Health, seemed particularly relevant to her current interests. She was eager to unravel the connection between her beloved fizzy beverages and her overall well-being. The chapter began by discussing the importance of moderation when it came to consuming soft drinks. Lucy learned that excessive consumption of these sugary beverages could lead to negative health effects. Her eyes widened as she read about the potential risks, including weight gain, tooth decay, and even an increased risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes. Lucy was especially concerned when she read about how soft drinks could negatively impact dental health. The chapter explained that the high sugar content in these drinks provided a feast for harmful bacteria in the mouth, leading to tooth decay and cavities. She shuddered at the thought of her favorite sodas causing harm to her pearly whites. Weight management was another aspect addressed in the chapter. Lucy had always been mindful of her weight and knew that her soft drink consumption might be a factor. The chapter shed light on the connection between excessive intake of sugary beverages and weight gain. The empty calories provided by these drinks could contribute to an unhealthy calorie surplus, leading to unwanted pounds. Lucy's concern grew as she read about the potential risks associated with increased body weight, such as an increased risk of chronic diseases like heart disease and certain cancers. It was eye-opening to realize that her beloved soft drinks could have such far-reaching effects on her overall health. The chapter, however, also acknowledged that occasional indulgence in soft drinks could be enjoyed without significant harm. It emphasized the importance of balance and moderation, urging readers to be mindful of their overall dietary habits and physical activity levels. Lucy took a moment to reflect on her own choices. She realized that she didn't have to give up her favorite sodas entirely, but could instead make conscious decisions to limit her consumption. She made a mental note to incorporate healthier alternatives, such as water, or unsweetened teas into her daily routine. As she continued reading, Lucy discovered some helpful tips for maintaining dental health while still enjoying her favorite fizzy beverages. The chapter suggested drinking soft drinks through a straw to minimize contact with the teeth and rinsing the mouth with water afterward to reduce the sugar's harmful effects. These simple strategies seemed easy enough to implement. By the time Lucy reached the end of the chapter, she felt informed and empowered to make healthier choices regarding her soft drink consumption. She now understood the potential risks of excessive intake and had some practical strategies to mitigate those risks. She also realized that her overall health was a result of many factors, not just her beverage choices. With newfound knowledge and determination, Lucy closed the book and pondered the next steps on her journey towards better health. She knew that she possessed the power to take control of her well-being, one mindful decision at a time. Excited and determined, she embarked on her mission, equipped with the knowledge gained from this enlightening chapter. Question, 
Are soft drinks bad for your health? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6. Regional Soft Drinks As Lucy delved into Chapter 6 of her book, excitement filled her. This chapter, titled Regional Soft Drinks, promised to take her on a journey around the world, exploring unique and refreshing beverages from various cultures. She eagerly flipped to the first page, ready to quench her thirst for knowledge. The chapter began by introducing Lucy to the captivating world of South American soft drinks. Her eyes lit up as she read about the popularity of mate, a traditional drink consumed in countries like Argentina, Uruguay, and Paraguay. The book explained that mate was made by steeping dried leaves from the yerba mate plant in hot water. Lucy imagined sipping on this invigorating beverage, picturing herself immersed in the rich culture of South America. Continuing her journey, Lucy discovered the wonders of chai, a spiced tea originating from India. The book described how chai was made by simmering black tea leaves in a mixture of milk, water, and a blend of aromatic spices such as cardamom, cinnamon, and ginger. The warm and comforting flavors of this unique beverage intrigued Lucy, transporting her mind to bustling streets of Indian cities as she envisioned savoring a cup of authentic chai. Next, the chapter turned its focus to the Caribbean, where Lucy learned about the vibrant and tangy ginger beer. Made from the fiery root of the ginger plant, this fizzy drink offered a refreshing kick to combat the tropical heat. Lucy could almost taste the zingy notes of ginger as she imagined herself strolling along pristine Caribbean beaches, indulging in this beloved regional beverage. As she read further, Lucy marveled at the diverse range of flavors and ingredients used in regional soft drinks. Each beverage had its own unique story, intimately tied to the culture and traditions of its respective region. Through this exploration, Lucy's appreciation for the world's rich tapestry of flavors deepened, and she began to see soft drinks as more than just thirst quenchers. The chapter also discussed the cultural significance of these regional drinks. Lucy discovered that in many places, these beverages held a symbolic role in social gatherings and were often shared among friends and family. She learned that soft drinks, in addition to being delicious, had the power to bring people together, fostering a sense of community and connection. As Lucy reached the end of the chapter, she was left with a renewed sense of awe for the diversity and creativity found in regional soft drinks. She now understood that beverages held rich stories, traditions, and cultural values, and she felt excited about the prospect of exploring more of these hidden gems. With a newfound curiosity, Lucy closed the book, her mind filled with images of vibrant markets, bustling streets, and warm conversations over a glass of mate, chai, or ginger beer. She knew that her journey had only just begun and that there were countless other regional soft drinks waiting to be discovered. Armed with the knowledge from this enlightening chapter, Lucy set off on a quest to explore the world, one sip at a time. She eagerly looked forward to her next adventure, ready to immerse herself in the delightful flavors and stories that awaited her along the way. Question, what are some regional soft drinks around the world? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7, Soft Drinks and the Food Industry In Chapter 7 of her book, Lucy delved into the fascinating relationship between soft drinks and the food industry. As she began reading, she couldn't help but feel intrigued by the myriad ways in which these refreshing beverages intersected with the culinary world. The chapter opened with an exploration of how soft drinks play a vital role in the food industry. Lucy learned that these beverages were not just standalone products. They were often paired with meals to enhance the dining experience. From fast food joints to fine dining establishments, soft drinks were a common sight on menus, offering a bubbly and quenching accompaniment to various dishes. Curiosity peaked 
Lucy eagerly read on to discover the role of ingredients in soft drinks and how they intertwined with the recipes used in the food industry. The book revealed that the creation of these beverages involved the delicate balance of flavors, where the choice of ingredients played a crucial role. From the sweetening agents like sugar or natural sweeteners to the vibrant colors derived from fruit extracts or artificial additives, every element of these drinks was carefully selected to create the perfect concoction. As she delved deeper, Lucy learned that many soft drinks were created to complement specific foods. For instance, citrus-based drinks were often paired with seafood dishes as the tangy flavors provided a refreshing contrast. Similarly, creamy and indulgent beverages like milkshakes were frequently enjoyed alongside burgers and fries, creating a harmonious combination of flavors and textures. The book also discussed how soft drinks were used as key ingredients in recipes within the food industry. Lucy was enthralled by the idea of using these beverages to add an extra dimension to both sweet and savory dishes. Just the thought of a rich barbecue sauce infused with the fizzy sweetness of cola made her mouth water. In addition to their use in recipes, Lucy discovered that soft drinks were also employed as marinades, tenderizers, or even bases for glazes and reductions in the food industry. The versatility of these beverages amazed her, as they could transform ordinary dishes into extraordinary culinary experiences. The chapter went on to explore how the collaboration between soft drink manufacturers and the food industry led to innovative creations. Lucy learned about partnerships, where limited edition flavors were crafted to enhance specific menus or seasonal offerings. These collaborations sparked her imagination, and she could almost taste the burst of a new and refreshing soft drink that perfectly complemented a dish. Furthermore, the book delved into the marketing strategies employed by soft drink companies in the food industry. Lucy discovered that through clever advertising campaigns and strategic partnerships, these beverages became synonymous with certain types of cuisine or dining experiences. From catchy jingles to iconic brand mascots, soft drinks had become an integral part of the culinary landscape. As Lucy finished reading Chapter 7, she was left with a deeper understanding of the symbiotic relationship between soft drinks and the food industry. These refreshing beverages were not mere quenchers of thirst. They played a fundamental role in enhancing flavors, creating unique recipes, and ultimately enriching the overall dining experience. With a newfound appreciation for the artistry and creativity behind soft drinks in the food industry, Lucy couldn't wait to explore restaurants and eateries that celebrated these unique pairings. The chapter had ignited her curiosity, and she yearned to experience firsthand the delightful combinations of flavors and textures that awaited her in the world of soft drinks and cuisine. Filled with anticipation, Lucy closed the book, ready to embark on her next adventure, one that would introduce her to the tantalizing symphony of flavors created when soft drinks met the culinary delights of various cuisines. Question, how are soft drinks used in the food industry? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8, Soft Drinks and Advertising. Lucy eagerly turned the pages of her book, excited to dive into Chapter 8. This chapter promised to unravel the fascinating world of soft drink advertising, a realm where marketing strategies and creative campaigns collided to capture the attention of the masses. The chapter unveiled the behind-the-scenes efforts that soft drink companies put into their advertising endeavors. Lucy discovered that these companies spared no expense in crafting captivating television commercials that would leave a lasting impression on viewers. From sleek and stylish visuals to catchy jingles, these ads were designed to create a buzz around their products and make them irresistible to consumers. As Lucy read on, she learned about the power of sponsorships in soft drink advertising. The book explained how these companies collaborated with popular sports events, music festivals, 
and even movie releases to increase brand visibility. The mention of iconic events like the Super Bowl and Coachella made Lucy realize the expansive reach these campaigns had, reaching millions of potential customers globally. The advent of social media also played a pivotal role in the marketing strategies of soft drink companies, as Lucy discovered. The book described how these beverages capitalized on the vast reach of platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to connect with their target audience. From engaging content and interactive campaigns to influencer partnerships, the online world became a playground for soft drink companies to showcase their products and build a strong brand presence. Excitement grew within Lucy as she delved deeper into the chapter, exploring the influence of soft drink advertising on popular culture. She read about how memorable slogans and taglines became ingrained in people's minds as these companies used persuasive messaging to create a sense of familiarity and loyalty among consumers. Phrases like open happiness and taste, the feeling resonated beyond the world of soft drinks, becoming cultural touchstones that captured the essence of joyful moments shared with loved ones. The book also touched upon the role of soft drinks in product placement an advertising technique where specific brands were strategically featured in movies, TV shows, and music videos. Lucy discovered that these subtle integrations created a subconscious association between the product and the desired lifestyle, influencing consumer choices when they encountered their favorite characters enjoying these beverages on screen. Spell check, grammar corrections, and optimizing comma usage, Lucy eagerly turned the pages of her book, excited to dive into Chapter 8. This chapter promised to unravel the fascinating world of soft drink advertising, a realm where marketing strategies and creative campaigns collided to capture the attention of the masses. The chapter unveiled the behind-the-scenes efforts that soft drink companies put into their advertising endeavors. Lucy discovered that these companies spared no expense in crafting captivating television commercials that would leave a lasting impression on viewers. From sleek and stylish visuals to catchy jingles, these ads were designed to create a buzz around their products and make them irresistible to consumers. As Lucy read on, she learned about the power of sponsorships in soft drink advertising. The book explained how these companies collaborated with popular sports events, music festivals, and even movie releases to increase brand visibility. The mention of iconic events like the Super Bowl and Coachella made Lucy realize the expansive reach these campaigns had, reaching millions of potential customers globally. The advent of social media also played a pivotal role in the marketing strategies of soft drink companies as Lucy discovered. The book described how these beverages capitalized on the vast reach of platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to connect with their target audience. From engaging content and interactive campaigns to influencer partnerships, the online world became a playground for soft drink companies to showcase their products and build a strong brand presence. Excitement grew within Lucy as she delved deeper into the chapter, exploring the influence of soft drink advertising on popular culture. She read about how memorable slogans and taglines became ingrained in people's minds, as these companies used persuasive messaging to create a sense of familiarity and loyalty among consumers. Phrases like open happiness and taste, the feeling resonated beyond the world of soft drinks, becoming cultural touchstones that captured the essence of joyful moments shared with loved ones. The book also touched upon the role of soft drinks in product placement, an advertising technique where specific brands were strategically featured in movies, TV shows, and music videos. Lucy discovered that these subtle integrations created a subconscious association between the product and the desired lifestyle, influencing consumer choices when they encountered their favorite characters enjoying these beverages on screen. Question, how do soft drinks companies advertise their products? Check the video description for the answer. 
Chapter 9. Soft Drinks Around the World Soft drinks have become popular worldwide, consumed in various countries across the globe. In Chapter 9, Lucy delved into the intriguing world of soft drinks and explored the different flavors and cultural significance they held in different parts of the world. Lucy discovered that soft drinks were not only refreshing beverages but also symbols of regional identity and tradition. From the tangy and aromatic flavors of Asian countries like Thailand and Japan to the vibrant and fruity concoctions of Latin American countries like Mexico and Brazil, each soft drink had its own unique taste that mirrored the diverse cultures it represented. Lucy read about the rich history behind these iconic beverages. For example, she learned that cola drinks had their origins in the United States and had spread their refreshing taste to nearly every corner of the world. She also discovered lesser-known drinks like the traditional Indian Nimbu Pani, a lemonade made with fresh citrus fruits and spices, which were beloved by locals for their ability to beat the scorching summer heat. As Lucy read on, she came across interesting anecdotes about the popularity of specific soft drinks in certain regions. She learned that, in Scotland, the carbonated drink urn brew had become a cultural phenomenon, establishing itself as an irreplaceable part of the nation's identity. Similarly, in Germany, the effervescent and bitter-sweet taste of Radler, a mix of beer and lemonade, was a refreshing staple during the lively Oktoberfest celebrations. The chapter also shed light on how soft drinks played a role in social gatherings and celebrations around the world. Lucy discovered that in many countries, soft drinks were a must-have at festive occasions like weddings, birthdays, and religious ceremonies. They were seen as a symbol of hospitality, and hosts took pride in offering a wide array of choices to their guests, catering to various taste preferences. Lucy deeply admired how soft drinks served as ambassadors of cultures, showcasing the unique flavors and traditions of each country. From the exotic and spicy ginger beer of the Caribbean to the cool and creamy iced coffee of Vietnam, Soft drinks provided a window into the culinary heritage and preferences of different communities. Excitement bubbled within Lucy as she imagined herself traveling the world, sampling the diverse array of soft drinks and immersing herself in the vibrant cultures they represented. She yearned to experience the tangy sweetness of Brazilian garin, the effervescence of Italian chinato, and the refreshing taste of Thai coconut water. She dreamed of sipping these beverages while basking in the enchanting sights and sounds of their respective countries. As Lucy closed the chapter, she felt grateful for the opportunity to explore the global phenomenon of soft drinks. She marveled at the power these beverages held to transcend borders and connect people through a shared love for delicious and refreshing drinks. With her newfound knowledge, Lucy eagerly awaited her next adventure, ready to savor the diverse flavors that the world of soft drinks had to offer. Question, are soft drinks popular worldwide? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10, The Science Behind Soft Drinks As Lucy eagerly flipped through the pages of The Science Behind Soft Drinks, she found herself immersed in a world of scientific principles and chemistry. This chapter aimed to unravel the secrets behind the delightful fizz and mouth-watering flavors of soft drinks, leaving Lucy intrigued to learn more. The chapter commenced with an exploration of carbonation, the process that gives soft drinks their signature effervescence. Lucy discovered that carbon dioxide gas was dissolved under high pressure into the liquid, forming tiny bubbles that created a pleasant tingling sensation on the tongue. The precise amount of carbonation was carefully calibrated to ensure the perfect balance between a refreshing fizz and a smooth mouthfeel. It fascinated Lucy how this simple principle transformed a mundane beverage into a delightful treat. Next, the chapter delved into the role of pH levels in soft drinks. Lucy learned that the desired taste and tanginess of different soft drinks depended on the ideal pH level. 
For example, citrus-based sodas often had a lower pH compared to other carbonated beverages, giving them a distinctive sharp and refreshing taste. Conversely, sweeter soft drinks had a higher pH, contributing to their smooth and palatable flavor. Lucy realized that these complex interactions between acidity and sweetness played a crucial role in creating the desired taste profiles of different soft drinks. The topic of texture also captivated Lucy's attention. She discovered that factors like viscosity, density, and the presence of various additives determined the texture of a soft drink. For instance, the addition of certain thickening agents gave some soft drinks a velvety texture, while others had a lighter and more fluid consistency. Lucy marveled at how seemingly small variations in texture could significantly impact the overall enjoyment of a drink. The chapter also shed light on the intricate process of flavor development in soft drinks. Lucy learned that flavorings were meticulously formulated and combined to create a wide range of enticing tastes. Natural and artificial flavors, such as fruit extracts and spices, were carefully blended to mimic the essence of different fruits, herbs, and infusions. The precise combination of these flavorings was an art in itself, as it aimed to capture the essence of each unique soft drink. Furthermore, Lucy discovered that soft drink manufacturers conducted extensive taste tests and sensory evaluations to ensure the consistency and quality of their products. These tests involved a team of experts assessing various aspects of the drink, such as flavor, aroma, and mouthfeel. It fascinated Lucy to uncover the meticulous efforts put into perfecting the sensory experience of soft drinks, as Lucy absorbed this newfound knowledge, she couldn't help but appreciate the scientific intricacies behind her favorite beverages. She realized that the soft drink industry was a marriage between innovation and tradition as manufacturers continuously sought to enhance their products while staying true to the flavors and textures that customers cherished. Lucy closed the chapter with a renewed appreciation for the science behind soft drinks. It amazed her how seemingly simple beverages could be the result of sophisticated scientific principles and meticulous craftsmanship. She marveled at how carbonation, pH levels, desired taste, and texture all came together harmoniously to create the delightful and refreshing beverages she enjoyed. With the science of soft drinks now demystified, Lucy eagerly looked forward to her future sips, knowing that each one held a subtle symphony of scientific marvels waiting to be savored. Question, what scientific principles are involved in making soft drinks? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11, Homemade Soft Drinks Lucy was excited to dive into the chapter on homemade soft drinks. The idea of concocting her own refreshing beverages from scratch intrigued her. As she delved into the page, she discovered a treasure trove of knowledge on creating delicious soft drinks in the comfort of one's own kitchen. The chapter began by highlighting the importance of quality ingredients in homemade soft drinks. Lucy learned that using fresh fruits, herbs, and spices could elevate the flavors to new heights. The possibilities were endless, with countless combinations waiting to be explored. From zesty citrus to luscious berries, the vibrant world of flavors was at her fingertips. Next, the chapter explored various carbonation methods for homemade soft drinks. Lucy was thrilled to learn that she could recreate the delightful fizz she loved in store-bought sodas. The chapter outlined several techniques, such as using yeast to produce natural carbonation or using soda siphons to infuse the drinks with bubbly effervescence. Lucy imagined the satisfaction of opening a bottle of homemade soda and hearing the delightful pop of carbonation. Additionally, the chapter provided a detailed guide on how to infuse different flavors into homemade soft drinks. Lucy discovered that she could make her own fruit syrups by simmering fruits with water and sugar. 
These syrups could then be mixed with sparkling water or club soda for a refreshing and flavorful homemade soda. The possibilities ranged from classic lemonade to exotic combinations like mango and ginger. Lucy also learned about the importance of balancing sweetness and acidity in homemade soft drinks. By using natural ingredients like honey or agave syrup, she could adjust the sweetness to her liking. The chapter provided tips on using citrus juices or vinegars to add acidity and create a well-rounded flavor profile. Lucy marveled at the ability to tailor the taste of her homemade soft drinks to match her preferences. Furthermore, the chapter explored the art of garnishing homemade soft drinks. Lucy discovered that adding fresh herbs, citrus slices, or even edible flowers could enhance the visual appeal and add a touch of elegance to her creations. These garnishes not only made the drinks more pleasing to the eye, but also imparted subtle aromas that enhanced the overall sensory experience. As Lucy absorbed all this newfound knowledge, she felt inspired to embark on her own homemade soft drink journey. She envisioned herself experimenting with different recipes, patiently waiting for the flavors to develop and the carbonation to fizz. The idea of impressing her friends and family with her creations filled her with excitement. With a chapter on homemade soft drinks as her guide, Lucy was ready to explore her own creativity in the world of beverages. Armed with quality ingredients, carbonation methods, and a newfound appreciation for the art of flavor balancing, she eagerly awaited the satisfaction of sipping on her own homemade soft drinks. As she closed the book, Lucy's mind was buzzing with ideas. She couldn't wait to gather the ingredients, unleash her creativity, and embark on a journey of homemade delights. The chapter had opened a door to a world where taste and imagination knew no bounds. Now it was up to her to explore and savor every sip of the homemade soft drinks she would create. Excitement filled her heart as she prepared to embark on this delicious adventure. Question, can soft drinks be made?